Hey guys, what's up? It's Ari, and for today's video, we are going to be starting a brand new series on my channel called Side Hustle Saturdays. That was a nice ring to it, don't you think? So basically, this series is where I test out a bunch of different side hustles and let you guys know which ones are more reliable and which ones are a complete scam and you should like stay away from with a 10 foot pole. And the first side hustle that we are going to be testing out is, drum roll please, user testing. So like, if you're not sure what user testing is, User testing is a website that companies use in order to get raw and honest opinions on their like apps or websites and they pay people for their feedback. So a couple of things that I want you guys to be aware of about your testing. Number one is you basically have to take an entry level test and it's a little bit intimidating because I thought at first it was going to be super easy. It took me two tries because the first time that I tried it, I was on a train coming back. And so then it's really loud on a train, so it's not the best setting. So I had to retake it. Number two is you have to speak your thoughts out loud for everything. Like if you're looking for something on a website or on an app or something, you have to basically talk through your process of searching for it, which isn't terrible, but it feels a little awkward because sometimes I'll be like, do, 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 okay, I'm looking for this, but I can't find this, like this should not be here. That's definitely something you need to know. And last is you get paid through PayPal, which personally I like a lot more because I've seen some places are like, you get paid in gift cards or whatever, and I'd rather get paid like money that I can spend, you know what I mean? Cause like your girl likes to eat food and your girl likes to shop so I need something that's going to be reliable in doing that. <laughs> it is a little weird for me to get paid through PayPal but I don't usually use PayPal like I literally had to set up an account for PayPal so another thing you guys should 100% know about user testing as well is you cannot qualify for every single test so you could have literally like 20 tests show up but only qualify for one. like that has happened to me multiple occasions so basically every Every single test has like a list of questions like they can range from like three questions to like 20 questions of like making sure that you're eligible like you're the right person that they want for this specific test which is kind of nice but at the same time I wish that when you filled out your profile like they have you do with me you they would just know which test that you qualify for but honestly user testing doesn't have its own user test so whatever okay so Thursday May 26th was the first day of this challenge and I only qualified for one test $10 test. Something to note is user testing has tests on the phone, has tests on the computer, and has tests on the iPad. I am fortunate enough to have all three of them and so even having all three devices I still only qualify for one $10 test. So that is something to keep in mind. The test overall didn't take longer than 15 minutes, I'm pretty sure it was probably like 12 minutes or something. So it's not bad for the amount of time that it took to actually do the test. So I made a total of $10. Mm, this isn't going to make you crazy amount of money is what I'm getting at bottom line because you have to qualify for each test and the app does have tests that range from like $60 to $120. I then on Friday, May 27, I also tried to do user testing as well and I qualified for zero tests that entire day. Like I had tests popping up on my computer, I had tests popping up on my phone, tests popping up on my iPad, and then only like two tests popped up on my iPad or something. But alas, none of them I qualified for. So that day brought us to zero dollars. Kind of a disappointment, not gonna lie. Then on Saturday, May 28th, I did qualify for one $10 test and it took me about 15 minutes to complete, give or take. But I did mention before is you want to make sure that you are in an incredibly quiet environment Environment. That day, unfortunately, I was in a little bit of a noisier environment, which ended up being okay, thankfully, but it was just like a lot of mowing was going on and like outside my window, so it's just like very, very loud and I felt really bad about it. So I just thought I should talk about that as well. Also, user testing does ask a lot for just like your voice to just speak and that's totally fine and that's totally normal, but 
the test that I took that day also made me have my faith. So yeah, it, I was lucky because this test was asking me a lot about photography and a lot about like what photographers like need in certain websites. So that was really nice. The reason I feel bad was I had a hard time pausing because I forgot like how to use the pause function. So make sure you really pay attention to that because now I know how to use it really well. <laughs> but that test I did not. Okay, then on Monday, May 31st, I qualified for one $10 test, and I don't really remember what the test was about, but it was very easy. Then on Tuesday, May 31st, I did qualify for one test, and it was a $10 test. My goal for this day was to try and qualify for two, but unfortunately, life just isn't fair sometimes and so I was unable to reach that so whatever but I did make 10 bucks okay I'm in bed and it is currently Wednesday June 1st and we are gonna go to user testing.com now it is 12 of 6 okay so there are one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And some of them I can already see that I'm not gonna qualify for. So. Okay, so we're gonna check again to see what's available. And so far we have no tests available on this device either. So I am gonna text my boyfriend back and then I'm gonna go make some food. Okay, so right now it is 2-12 and it's still Wednesday. <sighs> Y'all, is this going to be a day where I don't qualify? <laughs> um, yeah, it's looking to be a day where I don't qualify. <laughs> okay, so we are still waiting on taking a test today. It is now 3.01 and I just saw that I had a couple to be able to to be taken not a couple i have quite a bit okay now i have zero which now i'm gonna go to the grocery store so as you can kind of see both wednesday june 1st and tuesday june 2nd which is when i'm recording this i made zero dollars on both of those days but the day is still young for June 2nd because today is Thursday <laughs> um, so I'm gonna see if I can make some money and if I do I will put it in the description box okay so something I definitely wanted to make sure that I did share with you guys was actual proof of making money because that's why I waited I did this experiment for like a week to see how much you would make because you only get paid a week after your test is completed so know that ahead of time <laughs> My phone. Why is this hard? <laughs> That's what she said. I'm so sorry. That was, I'm a Christian girl. That was so rude. I'm so sorry. So now we've reached the point of the video where we are going to be evaluating this side hustle. So the first one that we are going to start off with is how much does it cost to get started? Okay, so one pro that user testing really has for itself is that it is completely free to sign up, completely free to get started, and all of that fun stuff. So we really like that because, like I said, we're in college, we make that much money, so we definitely don't want to be putting more money into a side hustle than we're getting out of it. So that is something that is really nice. Number two, is this sustainable? And no, it is not. Please, please, please do not quit your day job and try user testing because it's not going to be worth it. You're not going to make your rent. You're not going to make any major purchases. You're just, you're just not. Like the reality is you're not. Okay. So this can never be your main source of income like at all because you guys, you are not guaranteed to get a test every day. You are not guaranteed to get a test every hour. You're not guaranteed for anything and you're definitely not guaranteed to qualify for those, for those bigger tier wages. For example, there's like 30 minutes for like $30, like a 30 minute test for $30, or 60 minute test for $60, or two hour test for $120. Very, very little, like very, very little. So how long did it take? 
So, okay, so like now we're gonna try to do math. Now, keep in mind, I'm in art school, so I'm gonna need my calculator. So I'm gonna say, I have no idea. Okay, I think it's somewhere between like three and a half hours. Now, the next criteria is, are there any barriers? And we've already kind of touched on this. The two barriers for this side hustle is, you have to take a test, which in that test kind of lets you know whether or not you are a good source for user testing. Now, the second barrier that also are going to have for this is the fact that you have to get screened for every single test. So some tests you are going to qualify for and others, most of them in my case, you won't qualify for. And this is kind of like, I wouldn't really say it's like a barrier because you can totally take every single test that pops up on your phone or whatever, but it's going to be a lot more beneficial for you to have a some type of tablet and some type of computer and a phone just because then you're able to qualify for more tests because some of them are specific laptop tests or computer tests and other ones are bleep phone or ipad so and then the last question is whether or not i plan on continuing with user testing so the answer is yes i do plan on continuing with this side hustle just because like no it's not going to make you a millionaire no it's not going to make you a ton of money but like if you're just bored and have nothing to do i don't see like why not because you could potentially walk away with like ten dollars for like giving your opinion. So personally, I think I probably will just because it's like, I don't really have anything to lose. I have more to gain than I have to lose. Um, obviously I'm not gonna like prioritize it over everything, but if I like see that I actually take a screen or I might as well. It's super easy and super fun. So most of them are pretty fun. So I don't see like why not. And it does give me a little bit of extra spending money, which knowing me, my spending money is going to go towards my, either my business or clothes or food because I'm me. Alright guys, that is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below any other side hustles you guys think that I should try and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!